Abbey Tales, Busy Bees. Hello, my name is Nicola and this is Ruth, the Abbey Cat, with eyes of yellow and a coat of jet black. She likes to show visitors this and that. An abbey is an old building made of stone where monks lived, worked and called it home. Here is the door. It is big and old and made of wood. Shall we open it? Ruth thinks we should. Do you think it is a creaky door as it is so old? Shall we try making a creaky door noise after three? One, two, three. What is behind the door? I wonder what we shall see. The cloister, a meeting place for monks, a nice grassy square where Brother Mungo and the other monks would walk, relax and grow things. Ah, here is Brother Mungo. He is tending the bees. Here is the beehive, but are there any bees inside? One, two, three, four, five. Do you know what noise a bee makes? Buzz, 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 buzz. Can you buzz like a bee? Buzz, 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 buzz. Bees are always buzzing around. They buzz up high. They buzz down low. They buzz on your head. They buzz on your toe. They buzz on your shoulders. They buzz on your knees. These are very busy bees. Do you know what bees make? A delicious amber goo called honey. And it's good for you. Brother Mungo collected the honey. Bees also make a wax called beeswax. And the monks would make candles out of them. These candles would be lit in the abbey on special occasions. And so when Brother Mungo was praying, he would smell the candles. What do you think they would smell like? I think they'd be quite sweet. I think it's time for a story, for there are stories everywhere. And this is the story of how the bee got its sting. Would you like to hear it? I think Ruth and Brother Mungo would. Then let us begin. Long, long ago, in the land of myths and legends, there was to be a wedding between the god Zeus and the goddess Hera, and a great wedding feast was planned. Zeus decided to hold a competition. Whoever could create the most delicious food for the wedding feast, their wish would be his command. So animals and creatures from far and wide came and they presented Zeus with cakes and biscuits and soups. All good, but nothing amazing. And then a little creature called Melissa buzzed up. She was small and round and black and yellow and bumbly and she could fly. She presented Zeus with a delicious amber goo that she called honey. Zeus tasted the honey. He had found his winner. Her wish was his command. Melissa told Zeus how hard it was to make the honey. She had to fly from flower to flower and animals, especially bears, were always stealing her honey. Melissa asked for a weapon so that she could protect her honey. Zeus frowned. And he said to Melissa, I know that it is difficult for you to make honey, so I will give you workers and you will be the queen of the colony. But honey should be shared and not kept. So I will give you a weapon, a sting, 
But if you use your weapon, it will do you more harm than those taking your honey. And that is how the bee got its sting. Why bees don't use their sting very often and why they're always so busy buzzing around. I think Ruth and Brother Mungo like that story. Ruth wants to take us through another door. I wonder what we shall see. But that, my friends, is another story. So goodbye from me, goodbye from Brother Mungo, and goodbye from Ruth, the Abbey Cat.